तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लुक एट अ बिट ऑफ हाउस कीपिंग टू पुट योर हाउस इन ऑर्डर हाउस इज द कोड एंड वी विल लुक एट नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स विच ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट मे सीम टू बी वेरी सिंपल बट दे हैव अ ट्रिमेंडस इम्पैक्ट लेट स्टार्ट विद द आउटलाइन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल so you see that we will talk about case sensitivity we will talk about white space we will talk about comments and we will also talk about semicolon so bear with me and you will be having some wonderful useful tips also at your disposal so javascript is case sensitive case sensitive means that if you have say for example the while command okay the while uh, reserved word and it is all in lower lower case it is fine but if it's in upper case or if the if the w is capital then you may encounter some errors which are hard to debug okay so that is one issue so the the reserved words in javascript are in lower case but you can have a combination of upper case and lower case variable names in your code so as you can see over here that there is a number of uh, options of using different variable names so you have this capital over here and you have this capital over here and all capitals but remember that a variable name cannot start with a numeral okay so with this in mind we move to the next slide now we look at the importance of white space now the code which you see over here this code and this code over here they are both same they are both same they are identical but this is very difficult to read difficult to read now why is difficult to read because over here when i add the space over here this makes it readable okay why because the thing is that after a couple of time or maybe a uh, weeks or months or years the code becomes very difficult to understand if it's not properly spaced understand and you have to be visiting this code you write writing it takes less time very less time but you might be using it for years so you need to add the white space over here now look at the comments now there are different ways of uh, writing the comments this is one way of writing the comment okay we have these box over here or this is this is this is multiple lines this is multi line okay this is a single line comment over here and this is another combination of the comments so creating readable code and maintaining that code over a long term comments are your friends code that seems obvious now won't be nearly so obvious in the next time when you look at it especially if a lot of time has passed understand so you have this uh, multi line comments over here and you have the single line comments over here now try to understand although they are all comments but they have their utility in different domains also for example if you are explaining the code if you are explaining the code okay in the beginning then this is a better option why because you can make lot of edits you can make lot of edits and changes over here okay and without having worrying about this thing understand so the thing is that you can use the two slash method for small comments that span one line or a few lines for large comments such as those at the beginning of a program or script the multi line comment style is a better choice because it makes adding or deleting the information very convenient i hope you understand this now these are very small things but remember comments are very very important they are very critical especially with reference to the maintaining the code maintenance maintenance code maintenance for code maintenance comments are very important and critical now let's look at the semicolons so in this slide we will look at the semicolons semicolons delineate expression separate them but you have to be careful because javascript can insert semicolons on its own now you actually wanted to write this this you wanted okay but this you actually wrote this you wrote and this semicolon was inserted by javascript by the javascript interpreter okay and this creates a problem over here so you have to be careful because the 
the JavaScript interpreter could not understand your intentions. That is the problem. Now, if you are using semicolon with if statement, you have to be careful because over here you put the semicolon over here and it will just match this and do nothing. This code is not going to work. So you have to be careful. You won't use a semicolon at the end of the if statement. The reason is that the statement or block of statements in opening and closing braces that follows the condition is part of the condition statement. In this case, the if statement. A semicolon marks the end of the if statement. And if improperly placed, disassociates the first part of the if statement from the rest of the code. For example, the following code is wrong. The code within the braces will execute regardless of whatever is there. This is wrong. So that's all I have for this module.